Okay, thank you all for, thank you everyone. I'm going to talk about our interest and in research in new technology for pet detectors. Um, we are focused and our interest is in developing new detector, new technology for pet detectors in, a, in the multimodality environment as a, with a double side. One is as a tool for, or, or as a component for industry to build new, uh, uh, new uh, systems for imaging. So that can improve some of the current parameters that you can find in, in, in the market uh, or in, in other system in the market, but also as a tool for the researcher uh, that, uh, that will allow the, the researcher to play with, uh, uh, with factors that you cannot do with current uh, detector that you have today. For example, just to, to, to show one, uh, uh, limiting the, the dead time of your detectors to, uh, to the scintillator that can allow you to use even newer, faster scintillator and play with the uh, time of flight and design new experiments or new paradigms how to achieve higher resolution in your system. Of course, uh, this is all in a multimodality environment, and, uh, and as uh, you have all here before today, uh, we are working towards a, a fully digital system. And uh, one idea uh, that we also pursue is to reuse all this technology in another field, like could be personal dosimetry or even uh, cooperative portable spectrometers that can be deployed in, 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 in uh, fields or in, in applications. Just think, for example, in Fukushima or things like that. Okay, uh, our basic methodology, me methodology is very simple. We take the conventional uh, detector and we break down in the main key components and we try to introduce break, uh, breakthrough technologies in, of, in, in each of them, going from the scintillator all the way down to the back electronics that uh, we, we, we are working on fully digital uh, detectors. Um, results that we have achieved in the past. Well, uh, we have, uh, using conventional technologies, uh, we designed uh, 10 years ago uh, detectors that has been used commercially in systems that have been sold worldwide with uh, more than a thousand of these detectors uh, working in the field, producing the, what is, uh, uh, we consider the, the, the one of the reference for sensitivity, resolution, and quality in, uh, in uh, a small animal and preclinical imaging. And we have, uh, trans we have been translating that technology into the current uh, advances like using uh, silicon detectors, fully uh, uh, use, trying to integrate in the, in the back of the chip the whole thing, not only the, the, the photo detection, but also the intelligence, trying to achieve intelligent smart devices that will work digital from the very beginning. And uh, technology is that type of interaction that has been already translated into the silicon field. Um, in this, uh, in this framework, what is our interest, uh, uh, what are our collaboration, and where we see uh, potential collaborations with in, in this uh, uh, N, N plus vision? Um, in order to produce these new uh, advanced uh, devices, we will have to break some limitations, and for that we will uh, like to collaborate uh, in starting from the very basic array fabrication of the detectors all the way down to uh, materials compatible for MR, MRI in which you can build uh, reliable, uh, feasible, and uh, cost-effective detectors for, for example, for PET-MR. And um, our uh, trying to pursue at the end real-time MR imaging as uh, previous speakers have, uh, have uh, mentioned. And this is our information contact. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. And, uh,